Welcome to Conservative Guns and Armor, where we do budget gun reviews for like-minded conservatives. Today we're going over the Cricket from Keystone Arms. Fun little plinker, let's see how it goes. This is obviously a youth rifle. It's a little short on here, not necessarily for adults, but we still have fun with them. Chambered in 22 long rifle. We've got an assortment of ammo. We're gonna go over and show you that real quick. So we got just some general bulk ammo, 40 grain, and then we've got the CCI Stingers and some subsonics. So that'll be pretty interesting to see how quiet we can get it. So first impression, zero out of 10. Out of the box, this thing is about two feet off. Yeah, I get it. It's a youth rifle. It's not meant to be Chris Kyle's go-to rifle, but good Lord. <laughs> this is a big boom, guys. Well, that's it. All right, let's go reload. So we're gonna see how fast we can shoot this guy. Two rounds, two whopping rounds. We got two assailants down there that are talking some smack, AKA Chris and Hunter. So we're gonna see if 50% of my ammunition is gonna go in my mouth. And 50% is gonna go in a gun show. There we go. They are down for the count. Skyler's turn! So this is my first rifle. It actually says my first rifle. It was somebody's first rifle. It, thankfully it wasn't mine. I, I, I don't want this. Stinger, here we go. We're loading it in. There we go. I heard that a little bit louder. <laughs> I'm gonna be running some subs, as in singular sub. Right now, loading it in. Now you can see the loading is quite easy there. You know, there's that nice little loading tray. It doesn't fall in there. and. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and shoot this because Daryl is a... So we're gonna be talking about some great features about this guy, tip to absolute stinky butt. <laughs> no, but for real, this thing sucks ass. Again, like I said at the beginning, right out of the box, this thing was just way off, like a foot high, foot right, and now we're only five inches high and a foot right. So, good job, Keystone, you stupid All right, so going over why this thing just sucks absolute ass is two big reasons, honestly. And I'm gonna show you a model that is a little bit older, but it's perfect in every single way. And if you can find one, I highly recommend getting one for your little one. Call me Chris, <laughs> I don't know. So the sights on the Cricut here are pretty gosh awful. They're just not that great, honestly. And I know, again, we're talking about a budget, really budget youth rifle, but there are other rifles out there like a Mark II. You can even go the semi-automatic route, an RS-22 or a 10-22 by Ruger much 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 better they're going to be a little bit more expensive but it's well worth it and they're going to be able to grow into it a lot easier than this thing and the biggest reason for that is this stock so again we're going to show you on the older model it's a little bit more slim it doesn't have this cheek riser in here as a kid little jimmy this is perfect as they get older not so much your cheek has to really like as you know us adults here we gotta like skylar said in the last video you gotta shave down your cheekbones this is like you have to either shoot like a, you just lost a few chromosomes or you're just, I mean, you really have to like be anorexic in order to shoot this as an adult as they grow into their rifle. Again, it's supposed to be their first rifle. It's not gonna be that comfortable as they go to shoot it. And I get it, it's a youth rifle. I know, I know, I know. But nevertheless, that is just one thing to know. So we're gonna switch to the older model here, which in my opinion looks a lot better, a lot slimmer. And again, you don't have that cheek riser. So us adults here, we can, Get a nice perch, and we're gonna show you how accurate this guy can be. Another thing is the reason we like shooting these guys is do it all pretty much with one hand. Oh, I almost pressed the cuck button. Well, let's go over that just real quick. There is one big negative about this rifle. Again, it is for the youth capabilities, and you know, if you don't want little Jimmy shooting this thing whenever he wants, there's this button on the bottom of the gun that pretty much cucks him from shooting it. It puts a rod right here, pushes that up, it locks the bolt essentially so you can't shoot the gun. As adults, and we don't have the key, if you press that button, we become little Jimmy and we're cucked, so. See that feed tray on the newer one definitely helps with the loading process. But still fun nevertheless. A revolutionary discovery here, guys. If you just shoot like you're retarded, it's <laughs> 9 50 in the morning on a friday and we're shooting like we're in brokeback mountain <laughs> it's more accurate shooting it like that the more you know you can actually get a side saddle it's called a pocket boom 
ready for a reload. No. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice and violent. Just like my Whoa. It was like, did like a supernova spiral there. Holy smokes. The extractor likes to not extract half the time. 60% of the time it works. Not every time. Let's say there's an empty cartridge in there. Do the good old boop, boop. <laughs> We're breaking grounds here, guys. The Keystone Pipe, I mean the Keystone Arms Cricket here is, uh, well, it's a gun. If you've unfortunately made it to the end of the video, I just wanna say thank you again for commenting and really giving us support on the channel. We've, honestly, I don't feel like we deserve it sometimes, but you guys are absolutely amazing. The reason that we make videos like this and shorts and all the other stuff and try to expand is for you guys. Really want to say thank you and <laughs> There's a lot of comments out there that are, <laughs> can't really post on the screen. Thank you again, guys, for the support and sticking up to us, uh, or sticking up for us, not to us. Don't, don't stick up to us. Don't stick up to, all right. There's been a lot of like really bad comments and a lot of you guys, I don't even have to say anything. You just, ah, and I'm like, let's j just so you know, we are physically saluting your ass every time you do it. So again, thank you from Skylar and I. We really do appreciate it and the support on the channel. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment Chris in the comment section down below. We're gonna be doing this going forward to see if you've actually watched through the entire video. I feel really bad that the fact that you watched this entire video. I, I honestly, I, we just wasted like however long this video is amount of time. So comment Chris down below. We hope you enjoyed this video and it help you decide if you're trying to buy a rifle for your young ones. It's not a bad rifle. I do recommend trying to get the older model just because it's a little bit more ergonomic and as they grow into it, they're able to grow into it as they get older. The new one is got some great features. It doesn't have the button on the bottom, the lock button, and it also has the feed ramp. If the button was taken away on the old one and it added the feed ramp, it'd be the perfect little rifle. If you got valuable information from this video, go ahead and hit that bell notification. Want to make sure that you get up to date when we drop a new video. Every Sunday is a new main video and every single day we post new shorts, new informational stuff. So hit the bell notification so you're informed. We'll see you in the next one, especially you, Chris.